Hello, this is Shannon Sorrow. In this segment, I'll introduce you to the concepts of fans, fandom, fan fiction, and other fan practices for language learning, and then share research on a particularly successful second language user of English who entered fandom with the deliberate goal of developing her English, including her vocabulary. But first, it's necessary to provide a bit of background on some key terms. I'll start with fans. When I talk about fans and fandom, I'm often asked what it means to be a fan. Fan studies, a subfield of cultural studies, provides a good source of definitions. Here's one I particularly like. The term fan now covers a wide range of ordinary people who have a positive emotional engagement with popular culture. That engagement may take the form of connection with the text, image, performance, or creative signature of a public figure. It might include love for a particular cultural form or genre. In his excellent ethnography about fans of the songwriter and singer Bruce Springsteen in the late 1990s, Savici provides another definition that highlights the cultural component of being a fan, which is actually a much wider social category referring to a mode of participation with a long history in a variety of cultural activities, including literature, sports, theater, film, and television. In both definitions, there's reference to culture, which many might think of as the food, clothes, and traditions a society has. But a more nuanced definition of culture also recognizes the ideas, customs, skills, art, and tools that characterize a given group of people in a given period of time. Culture, therefore, includes high art as well as popular art and media, and the equipment and plays associated with sport, for example. By extension, it therefore includes the vocabulary needed to talk about these things. This broader definition also recognizes that culture can belong to groups of people and not just whole societies. This includes communities of fans. Fans have been around long before the internet, but Web 2.0 technologies, including many social media sites, have helped lead to the growth of online communities of fans known as fandoms. Online fandoms, therefore, are the local and international networks of fans that develop around a particular program, text, or other media product, and which foster the sharing of responses to the source material, including the production of novel fan-generated content. Within these online fandoms, fans engage in a great deal of interaction and many different, often creative, fan practices, perhaps the best known of which is fan fiction, also defined as writing that continues, interrupts, reimagines, or just riffs on stories and characters other people have already written about. However, fan fiction is only one of the social media practices that can engage learners and therefore expose them to new vocabulary. In this study of a fan, we'll see other fan practices that also lead to vocabulary learning. The purpose of this case study was to explore the L2 language development and digital literacy practices of an adult fan and second language learner of English. It consisted of a series of structured and semi-structured interviews and email correspondence that took place between 2014 and 2015. It also included analysis of specific social media posts that the participant, Stevie, identified as illustrative of her experiences and practices. This study builds upon prior work in online fandom for language learning, which explored the identity and language development of young fans in online spaces who were writing fan fiction or created fan websites. It falls within the category of extramural English, a term that describes English-related activities that learners come in contact with or are engaged in outside the walls of the English classroom, generally on a voluntary basis. Many studies of extramural English have documented, for example, learning as a result of online gaming. But first, a little background on the fandom that Stevie was a part of. Sherlock Holmes is a London-based famous fictional private detective who was created by British writer Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and appeared in detective novels and short stories between 1887 and 1927. The detective stories of Holmes and his colleague Dr. Watson have inspired a great many adaptations over the years. One such recent and extremely popular adaptation is the British television series Sherlock, which imagines Sherlock Holmes and John Watson living in 21st century London. 
This show first aired in 2010 and developed an active fandom on social media sites such as Tumblr and Twitter. Subsequent seasons are aired every two to three years, leaving fans long periods to speculate over the resolution to each season's cliffhanger. While the show is on hiatus, fans naturally write fan fiction and speculation, among other things. And when filming begins, many like going to the filming sites to see if they can gather information to guess the plot of the show. This practice of going to and gathering information on the filming, referred to as setlock by the Sherlock fandom, is relevant to Stevie's case.